this title is not clickbait. I actually managed to build a full app, a full web app in under 10 minutes without writing a single line of code. Let me show you the app and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use this for your projects. This might be the biggest game changer in AI right now because you can build entire web apps without touching or writing any lines of code. So let me get into it. This is the app I built. So you can see that it's like a map app with, with abilities to generate ideas. So it's like kind of wonky, but um, it's just the prototype, like what's possible. And the reason that this is possible because Replit released this new AI code agent thing today that allows you to just give it a command and it'll write the entire app plus make the deployment. So you can deploy the entire app and make it online and allow users to actually use it all within the Replit platform. So here is like the entire chat and I'm gonna go through it, but I will give a caveat that this is limited at the moment. They're only doing it for Flask and Django apps right now. They don't have all these other frameworks, but it's still pretty promising. And the other call out I want to make is the apps are not that complex. I only tried with two apps. Let me launch it and show you. You put in your um, country. So let's say I put in New York, I generate content. It generates all this stuff, right? And this was the first app I made. So it's, it's like this database of ideas. You can see that the apps are not complex, but a good start within a few months, this will be a lot more advanced where you can generate much more nuanced and complex apps. It's still cool. And I think it still has a lot of potential, especially for marketing and for other ideas. Let me go through the process of how I built it. I thought of this idea, this thing here is I was in Exploring Insights and I typed in like database for ideas in the free marketing tool generator. So this just comes up with a lot of marketing tool ideas that I can use to get traffic for exploring it. So one of the ideas was this, um, a tool that curates local content based on ge geographic trends and interests in specific areas. So what I did was I just copied this and I put it into Replit. So the flow is you just go to Replit, type in your idea. Let me do it for another idea. So let's say I want this one to just copy in the idea and put it into Replit, start building. Let me show you the chat I worked on. You can see the idea. Um, I tried, I found out they, they only have this new feature, this AI agent feature for Flask. So it said that it can only do with Flask, it's building it, and it built all of the files, plus it deployed it. That's the key thing. It, it wrote all the files, launched and put it online. That's pretty powerful. Here is the actual app. You can make more changes to the app when it finishes. So let's say more charts to the app, right? So you can do that. And then also one small call out that I have is that this is $25 per month or $10 per year. Honestly, I'm not sure if this will get me an ROI. Those apps have to make me more money than what I'm paying, but it's like a cool experiment to show you if you're on a budget. I wouldn't buy it. Um, the apps aren't complex enough to make money, but for simple apps that help with marketing, it's like worth a shot. But yeah, I will probably make a lot more demos just to show you guys um, what's possible. Here, it's making the charts. Let me show you the other chat. So basically, you put in the idea and then it will generate like these steps. And then what you do is you just click on approve and plan. I honestly don't know like what checking it does, but you just cl click on approve and it will start actually building the app right now. So this takes like maybe three minutes and then afterwards it will have an app within the Replit platform that allows you to play with and launch. If you want to make changes, you, you can do it manually, but I think it's probably just faster if you just type in, oh, make this button link to this other site, right? So you can just give it commands. Let's see what it did. So here you can see that I asked it to add charts and it got this web app. You can open this in a new tab and let's see if it's working. So just put New York. Yeah, so it has like these charts, obviously, again, like this is not super refined and the apps I make are not that advanced. So you can see that these apps are like, this chart is honestly useless, but it's, it's just cool to sh see the potential. And then the, the bonus is this is probably faster than if you did it manually, right? So that's the main metric. Is it faster to do it with this or manually? If you do it with this, it's faster. You can download this code and edit it yourself or pay someone to edit it. It's super good at building out these uh, bullet plates and getting a MVP up really fast. 
this is the chart and let me show you guys the other app that's building so here like installing all the um packages and libraries that you might need if like for apps this step is tiresome putting together the bare minimum to get a app running these are not errors these are this is like the the file that's changing so this is great especially if you're trying to learn to code it'll it'll tell you exactly what it's doing teaching you this part shows it's deployed here it got an error a postgres or database error you can see it figuring out why there's an error and fixing it on the run that's useful in my other apps it, it didn't have an error so it's it's cool seeing that it's possible that it's knowing that there's an error and it's trying to fix it so this has taken five minutes of four minutes depending on how complex the app is it might take more time it, it takes a screenshot which is great so there's like a progress tab and it shows you the um, progress of the app that it's working on you can also open up in a new tab so you don't need to fully deploy it right now you can open up in a new tab and then after it finishes it i think this app is a little too complex so there is user registration user login creates a new post liking a post commenting on post and user profile let's see if it works honestly i'm like surprised if, if this does work this is expecting too much from this app but let's see remove the user login so just show the mvp it's a good shot that it probably having user registration is a bit too much for this ai agent at the moment that's probably way too overkill i didn't specify we needed a user login I just did it itself but i think if we remove that functionality of allowing users to log in and register it should make the app a lot more simpler plus there's there will be a lot less errors it's, it's going through and removing all of the user stuff right now let me see if let me see if you can actually find the error or bug yourself. So I'm not sure where the log is. This is like the first time I'm using Replit. It has to be somewhere, but yeah, I'll just let it figure out itself <clears throat> where the error is and how it can make this app simpler. Let's see. It still has a login, so maybe we, we have to restart this app. So let's see, stop. So the app is up and running, nice. So it, it has this thing now, the posting, the create post does work, nice. And you can like it and leave a comment. Honestly, I I am shocked this, this even works. I didn't even think that it could do, do this, like um, this like functionality plus the ability to make a post. And then what you can do is this like video is going a, a, a bit long, so I will cut it here, but you can deploy this app. You just go to here, click on set up your deployment, and this will deploy the app. This is a working app, so it's crazy. And I think this has a lot more potential. Let me know if you want to see more. Um, I will probably create more if you want to see it, but otherwise, um, see you guys later.